a lot of people, other than your family's health, the most important thing to an immigrant is legal status in the United States. So Road to Status, if you guys don't know what we do, we've essentially created some technology to help move the immigration process and the paperwork associated with it along a little bit faster. So about 50 jobs made by these two guys here. And Road to Status Immigrant Entrepreneurship Award, and we'd like to uh, present this to WISC, uh, owners Ricky and David Rodriguez for their um, continued contributions to the community. Road to Status is, you know, is a great organization, so definitely congrats on them for launching this, this big event. Um, but you'll be amazed um, how many people are on the community. And when people say immigrants, I think they only think in Mexicans. I don't know why, but I think that's just the case. And I mean, there's, you know, people from Poland, people from Russia, there's so many people that when I went and I lined up to get the DACA status, there were so many people in line that there were all different ethnicities. And I was like, I was amazed. Uh, a lot of people get motivated with the American dream because they see like the success of it or like the results of it. But what motivates me is the struggle. You know, when I see, if I see my dad tired or I see that my wife, you know, she's tired or I can barely see, um, you know, my daughter, that, that motivates me, the struggle from all, everybody that I see, not just my family, but other people, you know, that are poor, they don't have that much money, you know, that motivates me because it's like, what can I do to help them? Am I doing enough for this country? From the user perspective, just to get a tourist visa in place. The amount of documentation that is required to apply for it is insane. To bring my brother and sister, br brother and his wife or my sister, to US to visit me is a nightmare. Uh, Road to Status is an especially inspiring story. Uh, it's e it's hard, easy to find folks who see the immigration system and understand how broken it is. It's a little bit harder to find people who are motivated to do something about it, motivated to use the skills and the talents and resources at their disposal to change the system for the better.